Well, let's get some backstory to this. Melvin Ingram heading into this year wasn't signed for a while. He was injured uh, the year before. I mean, he didn't have much production. He didn't really see the field that much. But then the Steelers picked him up late in free agency, added him. And in the first week, he got about eight pressures. No real sacks, but he got one versus the Raiders. Now, why is this such a steal for us? One, we don't have a fourth round pick next year. We don't have a fifth round pick next year. And we don't have a sixth round pick next year. And if you ask me, that's not good considering the fact that we need a lot of new pieces, including an entire O-line heading into the future for our future quarterback for Najee. And I'm not just saying that because Najee's mom follows me on IG. Thank you, Mama Najee. I very much appreciate you. But we'll give up a year of elite depth in one guy for the long term, for two years, for three years, for four years. You know, we need at least one third round pick back, maybe another fourth or something like that. But it's a good deal for everybody. I mean, Melvin Ingram gets his playing time. We get a very valuable pick or two. But if you ask me, it's a win-win. And the moment that the Steelers signed Melvin Ingram, at worst, they got a free pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. Now, he's going to the NFC. He's not going to the AFC. The Steelers were shopping him, but the Chiefs sent us an offer. We declined because we don't want to give any of our competition a competitive advantage. So he'll be off to the NFC. Wish him the best. He's a great player, great spin move, great bull rush really ferocious on that edge and can play from really any spot on those front lines now i hope you guys enjoyed this video and that's it for me on this one tell me where you guys think melvin ingram will be going peace